Good evening, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Put on your fancy exploring hats, because today we're going to go on an adventure through the world of Neo 2. In the south of Yum... <laughs> In the south of Yamashiro province lies Mount Tenno, a mountain jutting out from the extensive plains where the Uji and Katsura rivers meet. It has long been a vital strategic location. Following the incident at Hanoji, Akechi Mitsuhide, without the benefit of re any reinforcements, sought to use the terrain to his advantage, luring the large Hideyoshi army towards the marshes along the river. Anticipating this move, Tokichiro occupied Mount Tenno and deployed yokai to decimate Mitsuhide's forces. And with that, the decisive battle that would shape the future of the nation began. この世に勢いは。We got some marshland at Mount Tenno. Uh, so let's recap a few things. Akechi Mitsuhide is the historical assassin of Odu Nobunaga. Uh, we're sort of left to just infer that this event took place. Uh, and we're also dealing with uh, Hideyoshi, Tokichiro, and, and Hidi being split up. Tokichiro apparently raised an army of yokai and is now fending off Akechi's army near the capital. Um, he's still clearly also being manipulated by evil wizard Saito Toshimitsu, who has just been itching to show off what a villain he is, uh, and has now finally pulled his big wizard Odachi out. And is like, ah, it was me, you fools. Didn't you see my beard? And we all go, oh my god, you're evil? No way! Uh, we're gonna have to deal with this dude. Pressed right up against the side of the hill. So we have some cover. Uh, luckily, that shouldn't be too hard. I do... I need to backstep. Yeah, 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 yeah! Uh, I did want to break his stamina enough that I could get that visceral attack in. So this is going fine. Luckily, it's not a terribly complicated type of yokai to have to fight uh, under restricted circumstances. So we'll be able to get around to that eventually. Instead, I'm gonna go around the other perimeter. Ooh, 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 ooh. no, no, no. I hope this is safe. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, we wanna climb up here to the wooden scaffolding because there are so many more snipers perched up here ready to light you up. You don't wanna go recklessly straight through the middle of the bog. Oh, why'd you go? Okay. Bye. The skeletons didn't want to be friends with me. You turned around at exactly the worst moment, friend. Oh, where did you come from? Uh, 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 u
That was almost the worst decision, but it turns out it's a great one. That's the difference. <laughs> That's the difference. When you are only being results oriented. <laughs> if it worked, it was a great decision. If it didn't work, it was a bad decision. Unfortunately, it's not always a good idea to be results oriented. Hey, we made it out of there, though. So one thing you can definitely say is that I am clutch as hell. Now we have that drop down and we also have the ladder. They'll get us back up. Uh, this time, I'm going to be a little bit more vigilant about where the spear dudes are and the sword skeleton. Uh, the other one is also a problem. Also, another sniper. Oh, it's the one I forgot about. You know what? I'll just shoot that one at some point. I think we have cover here, though. So, no need to get ahead of ourselves just yet. Oh, wait, no. I thought I saw a flaming arrow. It was just the, uh, the oil lantern. Now, you're right over here. One shot, one kill. And that makes this even better for us, because we can now fight the yokai that we're gonna spawn uh, in the passage right out in the open without worrying about getting sniped. And it, it's just one of the snacks. So... The only way that it would pose a major threat to us is if we were taking this fight surrounded by archers. So we just kind of tower knighted her. Still a little salty about how bad Walmart's website is, because... Whew! Could not, at any point, grab that elusive PS5. <laughs> I would love to be playing Demon Souls, much as I love Neo 2. Every single time I got I got a little bit further in checkout and the little wheel was spinning on the la on the fourth and last attempt at ordering that PS5 online on Walmart's dog shit website. And it was spinning, oh the payment was processing. And then that Fucking dog. That mmm loathsome dog. The oh dear dog. Either way, we're gonna enjoy our journey through Neo 2. <laughs> this level. It's huge, and especially because the second half of it has so much going on. Uh, like, we already got a taste for uh, a little bit of the level's verticality. By the way, uh, the swamp at certain points does go a bit above your waist, and it does hinder your movement. Uh, so it's helpful to avoid fighting in there as much as you can. Not always a viable option, though. Oh, how do we liberate this little boy? Only have to fall from a top here? We've already gotten a little taste of the level's verticality, and we'll get more here as we're presented with the option of uh, going down into a series of tunnels, uh, going up here and clearing things out, But later on, uh, in the second half of this, it's just a big honeycomb of ladders, scaffolding, and ramparts winding around and above and below a fortress. The exterior parts of the level are also a pretty cool sight to behold. Uh, they're just beautiful. You should get this permanent golden hour lighting. I think the marsh is actually a nice change of pace, too. Yeah, 
This is a perfect photo mode level. We need this and an exact uh, reskin of the level as a side mission where it's just Blue Hour instead. Just for the, the total photo mode set. Ah, here we go. Uh, so we're going to kick that down before we proceed to pop this next yokai. And this one's a little new. It's one of the standard yokai, except armed with a Kasari Gama. And the will to flip. This dude likes to... Tumble. He likes acrobatics. He likes flipping backwards. He likes swinging and a spinning and a rolling. He will do it twice. <laughs> uh -oh. oh no, that was a bad decision. It's never a good idea to roll backwards against these. The timing makes their their combos perfect punishes for uh, for back steps. Or back rolls. Alright. First, let's get those souls back. Uh, we'll climb back up. I haven't re-cleared the bog or... Uh, ah, oh, no. Okay, we're gonna lead him around a little bit while I, while I clear the other archers. I shouldn't have popped him so early. And then hopefully, we won't have to take this to marsh level. Uh, and fight him while worrying about aggro from the big baby. The boss baby. Wow, these work. A treat against, uh, the yokai. Okay. Okay, well, boss baby's nowhere near us. And we're right next to the ladder. And we've killed the yoki. If you love a good ladder, if you like to sing Snake Eater to yourself while climbing a ladder. This level is for you. There are so many here. It is all ladders all the time. Unfortunately, no super long one. Uh, yeah, I do believe we'll be dropping here and then right down here to the next part of the bog. Oh, wait, no, this is the previous part. I have gotten myself turned around. This is a cool way that it loops, though. <laughs> so instead, uh, we take the bridge straight ahead. Mm, let's do that. Because this will bring us to our first Dark Realm. This will get us a little closer to the next shrine. And I want to be up top. I would much rather be doing this from the top than the bottom. Because uh, our target is that. Oh, God, I didn't realize there was a skeleton there. Ooh. I almost got murdered by a spear just on a very simple scouting expedition. My only mission was to inform. Oh, hell. My only crime was observation. So first, we are going to clear the archers. Kind of a theme. Uh, not going to walk into the snake just yet. We'll probably get knocked down. Okay, that's a pretty fine place for you. Uh, and then that enables us to start off with a plunging attack on this before we've even aggroed anything else. And taking no chances, I'm going to release the snake. Because I did not one-shot it, and that was a little concerning. I, I couldn't even see the health bar, so I didn't know how many follow-up attacks I would need. And therefore how much time I would have before something started stabbing me in the back. Uh, we are good, though. Uh, this enables us to open up this gate and the next shrine is just up the hill first we're gonna do a little bit of backtracking i see a little dude 
I see a little dude that we want to rescue. I want to see my little boy. Here he comes. I want to see my little boy. Are we messing with a snake? No. I don't think what she's guarding is important enough to spend time messing with a snake. Ah, uh, this chest is a nice pick-me-up, though. So we've got that. We have got our friendly Kodama over here in the corner, who I passed right by on the way to go fight a sniper. And there we go. Uh, now we can proceed to the second part of the level, which includes that really cool tiered fortress. Uh, first, there's actually something else really cool here. It's a rice paddy field. I love the way these look. The way they kind of uh, step stool up into the earth. Ah, I, I love this. And then combined with the golden hour, lighting, ah, even more pretty. So that is going to do it for today. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one, y'all.